Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's Blazer Cakes here, and today in this video, I have for you a Soul Supremacy Beater Box unboxing. Now, it's not gonna be like a vlog, like, I'm not gonna be going like this. Like, Ethan's gonna be working the camera today, and um, we might go outside and do something. Anyways, I'm wearing a hat because I'm at that awkward stage of my hair where it's not long enough for it to be worn well and it's not short enough. You get the point. So, I'm wearing your boy hat that Fedora sent me. Figured I'd show him some love. Yeah, let's just get into the pairs. All the pairs will be for sale at blazernearcakes.tickdale.com, and if they are not sold there, I'm going to be at SneakerCon Atlanta, which you can check them out. I'll bring some of the nicer pairs. Like, I know they're probably not beater box, but South Beaches, I'll be bringing dead stock 750s, I'll be bringing as well. And this video is also sponsored by Snups. So, shout out to the homies over at Snups for giving me the opportunity to showcase how to sell your sneakers on their platform. And it's honestly one of the best ways to do it with eBay because not only do Snups viewers see it, eBay viewers see it too. So, it's a win win on both situations. I'll show you how to use that. And I'll also be showing you how to clean them because some of them I already checked out are like a little dirty. And now I'm going to be working that, that, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get into it. Nice. So when I first opened up the box, this is what I saw. I saw this. And the first thing is I thought to myself was, Ray saw those. And I went, I'm So this is what I saw when I first opened the box. Like I'm literally giving you like what I first did. So I saw these and I vomited uh, because they're size 15. If anybody wants to cop those, those are size 15. Please, please go for it. Yeah, it's as big as this man's forearm, arm length. All right, so now moving into it. Here you go. If you want to hold up. This is what I saw coming out of the box. So I'd open it up. Like, this isn't exactly in These aren't exactly in order, but you can tell. So let's get it. All right. So the first pair we got right here is a pair of Stealth 5s. Now this pair actually was one of, if not the first Air Jordan 5 that I fell in love with besides the grapes. And they have original all. They got the tag and everything like that. They're really clean. The bottom's gonna need a good cleaning. Size 14. So for all my big feet people, I'm finally giving up. I finally given in, gotten some bigger sizes, just like you guys wanted. Next pair that we got right here is a pair of Flint 13s. These Flints are actually super clean. Like they still have the ceiling on the hologram bubble, which I'm not going to take off. But you guys can tell right there. And just overall by the condition, they really don't need that much. Probably on the laces a little bit, they could use something. Aside from that, they're really clean. And they're size 13. Moving right along with it, I probably opened these up next. Not knowing what they were, I got a little frustrated. But then I was like, you dumbass, it says premium. So I opened it up, and then I saw that these are the Air Max 90. Uh, I don't know what version of most Tiger Camo. And they are dead stock, so these will not be needing any cleaning. And I'm actually going to be bringing these to SneakerCon because this is more one of the more sought after pairs in the box and i think i paid 800 for this box so i think overall it's gonna do well like these right here if i would have gotten these probably a year and a half ago i would have been much happier these are a dead stock pair of true blue threes size nine and a half once again like another dead stock shoe like if i was able to sell these for actual market price 350 and four i'd already make what i made on the box but I'm very happy with these. Definitely wish I could have got them a little earlier from the True Blue release. I even emailed Soul Supremacy and said, what would you take quick cash? And they're like 200. Overall, like this shoe was one of my favorite threes and I actually owned a pair and we definitely shot a lot of pictures in them, uh, card, everything like that. And also for you guys wondering, the Blazonary Kicks classic logos, which we have a giant box of right there. Uh, the white, the pink, the blue, the red, the olive and the black. Those will all be for sale at SneakerCon Atlanta, which you guys have been asking for because they're not on the site right now because we sold out and we had to make a bunch more. The focus kind of freaked out on that. Do you want to redo it or just keep going? The next pair we got right here is a pair of Lady Liberty 10s. These are size 8. This is probably the smallest pair size in the box, I believe. They just need some general cleaning. Overall, the creases aren't that bad either. Definitely will be asking a reasonable price on these on the site once I find a good way to clean them all up. Last two pairs in here. I forget what these are, actually. Oh. probably show what they are at least so right here these are the Son of Mars. Yeah. you do you if you like these man go for it i'm a hype beast. They're DS. yeah they're ds like i like guys look at me real quick i'm a hype beast okay i have mags that i bought myself by the way if you even comment something dumb in the comments freaking literally they'll kill you if they even if you even try South beaches, of course. I mean, like, these are the kinds of shoes I have. I'm not gonna sit there and mess with something like this. You feel me? By the way, if you wanna check out my sneaker collection, I'll have a video. Just find out the channel. If anything, I'd list these as donors. And if you're interested in them for a restoration purpose, they're a size 10 and a half. So that'll be good for 10 and a half, you know, 
This is of Air Jordan 5, so like 1001 Air Jordan 5s with the Nike Air on the back. Definitely use these for a restore project. And lastly, the last pair in the box, which I really don't remember like at all. Actually, I'm going to take a guess. This is an Air Jordan 5 box. No, is it yet? This is an Air Jordan 5 box. I'm going to guess Laney 5s. I could be wrong though. Okay, white metallics. Yeah, it's been a minute. I honestly didn't remember that either. I know, these really do, the creasing isn't an issue because creasing is just creasing. But overall, the bottom definitely needs a good cleaning. I mean, this is a clean sneaker, but I don't know. I don't know. Half feeling these. As you guys can see, we're on a quick little adventure to the bathroom. This is after the video was filmed, and I know you guys are seeing it during. See, I'm adding the vlog aspect to all this. So shout out to Acne, shout out to Acne Proactive, the plug. Uh, shout out to my hair care. Shout out to the soap. Shout out to Acne. Shout out to Clean Mouth. Drop the soap. Stop. Shout out to my brother. Bathroom good. All right, we just gotta bring this light box in here now. Yeah, if you wanna take them all out. Well, yeah. <laughs> all of the lights dancing. I think, uh, yeah, I'm whipping it in the Beamer. Two sneaker cons, so. Oh yeah, those need to get clean too. Just a little bit. I'm whipping the Beamer, so Justice is gonna be following us in his Corolla which will house most of the shirts and all that other good stuff. All right, so we're gonna be using the Crep Protect Cure Kit. Ah, I don't have any Crep Cure in here. Boom. I've got quite a bit of Crep stuff in my bathroom. I'm actually gonna use my GoPro to film this part. That's very neat. I don't know. Even if it was, if, even if it, oh my God. I'm just gonna go on eBay right now and buy a freaking another car thing. So once again, shout out to the homies over at Crep Protect. Always keeping us locked and loaded and laced. The difference is really there. And I didn't even I didn't even try to go ham on these. Like just a quick cleanup for a customer. Yeah, there's a good difference. We're not really going for the full deep clean, we're just going for the surface clean because we're just gonna end up getting worn again. Alright, so we just finished cleaning the pairs. Haha, <laughs> you didn't fall. And I'm not really trying to go for the like that crazy ultra mighty clean look. What we did is very good. As you can see, like they're all much whiter, like especially these, like, ooh, man, these definitely changed. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to Harris Teeter, get a bunch of Harris Teeter plastic bags so I could stuff the shoes. And then afterwards, we're gonna take pictures of the shoes in a location. If you wanna do me a favor, move that over, Lord Robert. Show them the back seat. Back seat. Boxes. Practicing for sneaker fun. Yeah, kind of. Wait. Sneaker Con's gonna be crazy. Right now we're going to Harris Teeter. So I can get a bunch of bags and cash my change. Fun. <sighs> Alright, so right now we're going to Harris Teeter, cashing some change. So it turns out we can get like 50 bags. And it's a normal thing? Yeah, it's normal. Just come to customer service at Harris Teeter. Plug. <laughs> Shout out to the plug, Bree. And then I got $16 out of my change. Shout out to all the OGs that remember this spot. This spot is the goat spot. Like, if you remember this spot, man, throwback yet. Yeah. Some of the OG followers will know. Well, I messed up and I didn't charge the drone controller. Nice work. If you wanted to see some drone stops, sticker, what was that guy looking at? If you guys want to see some drone shots, definitely stick around the channel because those are coming back now that I have a car. Alright, so pretty much you guys, what's going on now is we have to make sure the shoes look in tip-top prime shape before we, 
you know, take pictures of them and stuff them with the bags and all that. So what we're doing now is we're going to take the shoe and then Ethan's going to show you how to DS lace it. So you go like that, wrap it around your finger, make a hole, you put the two ends through the hole, and you kind of have a little tug of war with it. Just pull on it and bang. There you go. So we're going to take some bags, and we're going to stuff the shoes. This should be your finished product. And it should look a little something like this. Stuffed and ready to go. So what I like about all this is it really does make the shoes look a lot better. Like, and especially over time too. Having the shoes stuffed like that also prevents creases over time. So let's say like, you wanna keep, you're like, you know you're not gonna wear a pair for a week. I mean, these don't have plastic bags because they're DS, but stuff a bunch of plastic bags into them. Let them sit for a week, sure. And then just take them out and honestly, they'll be good. All right, so we just finished up taking the pictures right now. Pictures went really well. They're also gonna be going up on blazerkicks.tiktok.com and on the eBay feature that Snups has. So that was a pretty successful shoot right there. Glad we came back to the spot. Sucks I couldn't drone though. Don't worry, I'll be fixing that issue with the freaking controller. All right guys, the next part right here we're gonna be doing is the Snups portion. So this is literally going to be how you're gonna sell your sneakers using Snups. If you guys didn't know what Snups is, Snups is pretty much this extremely organized Instagram. And when I mean extremely organized, like I have a section for my beater picture shoes, and then I can have one for my poop kicks of the day shots, which actually is a thing. So I use Snups definitely, like as you guys can see, I have 6.5K followers. I should literally try to follow everyone back. Like, I mean, man, if you if I see that, man, I click follow. Half the time, I don't really see it. What's up, fam? Keep up the good work on the videos. I try to respond to you guys as best as I can. So I, I really try to do that as much as I can. What we're going to be doing today actually is something completely different. We're going to be selling my sneakers on Snups. So right here we're going to create a shelf. So sneakers for sale. This is not a private shelf. We just made our sneaker selling shelf. Now I'm going to add some pictures from my gallery that I already have. Them. So let's say I wanted to sell those Lady Liberties. What I do is I do that. Add them to the shelf. Air Jordan. So right there I have them as Lady Liberty. They're in. The sneakers for sale original all so i just do this just for myself you guys obviously don't all have websites but i have all my pictures on my website of them so you can check them out and everything like that and then at the bottom right here you're going to see something called list on ebay so what you want to do is you want to click this and you're going to want to connect your ebay account with your snap so if you don't have one ask your parents they definitely have one. right there i just signed in I'm agreeing to Snups. I agree with what you guys are saying. This is actually my first time doing this as well. I haven't had any training on how to do it. It's just, it's really honestly that easy. Bang, there we go. It's now you're literally listing the item on eBay, like as we speak. Condition detail, just like that. It's done, right there. Your Air Jordan 10 Lady Liberty is now for sale on eBay. As you can see right here, I actually like how, because I, was a, I chose some more better options. So look, you can add the brand, the style, the size, the condition. And I really don't have much for sale. Like everything you guys saw in the video sold beforehand. This really is that simple. So shout out to Snups. Thank you for sponsoring this video. I'll be using Snups a lot more now because my account wouldn't log into the server for some reason, which is now fixed. Shout out to Arthur over at Snups. Appreciate it, man. Now let's go to the ending of this video. And yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure you smash that like button. If you want to find Crep Protect products, I'll have a link down below in the description. And if you want to check out the app Snups, I'll have download links down below in the description where you guys can sell yours as well. Hopefully I made this video pretty simple for you guys. And if you are brand new, please make sure you subscribe to Blazer and Kicks on YouTube. Like this video, comment down below your opinion, and follow me on Instagram. I think it's right there. I think it's right there. If not, I'm just going to elbow it if it's right there. At John Carlo Perch, Instagram and Snapchat. I really recommend Instagram and Snapchat. That's all I recommend. No Twitter, nothing like that. All right, that's going to do it. Blazer and Kicks, I'm out.